Hi there, Anna here. And in this video, we gonna be talking about the best script. It was suggested by one of my followers. I'm hoping he's following me, but he left a comment uh, saying that maybe I should do a tutorial about the best script. And I thought, well, wow, this is a great idea because I know nothing about best script. Why don't I do a video? What is bash script, you ask? Well, have you ever typed in the same command again, 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 again? Or have you tried some repetitive actions like moving a picture from one folder to another, one to another? And you thought, well, this has to be microphone don't go anywhere this has to be a better way of doing it and yes you guessed it right this is a power of bash script so you write one bash script and then it will do all the it will do all the work for you so if you someone like me who doesn't like to clean the downloads folder and has all sorts of files laying around in there let's check it out i have a bunch of thumbnails um, we are looking at different pictures here. Here is another masterpiece that I created. Um, oh, so cute, Windows fighting with Linux. <laughs> okay, so do I have a bunch of GPEG files downloaded? Let's use Bash Script to move them all together into my pictures directory. Um, now let's use WSL. Um, you can use WSL or Ubuntu. Um, if you are using Mac, um, just um, you can just use your regular terminal I think um, just make sure you have a bash a bash <laughs> a bash shell open I'm in this mount system 32 directory and I don't think this is where I want to be but okay so if you want to learn bash script you need to know this shebang line by heart. This line tells the system that we need to run the script using the shebang shell. You don't need to type it in your terminal. Um, it will go into our script, but just need to find a place to put it. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we have in this directory. Okay. So there's a bunch of files. Uh, get, let's get out of here. Okay and cd into our home directory using let's use the squiggly line now we can see what we have in the directory here all right so this could be a good place to save our script and for that we can just create a new file using the touch command we want to move and organize my downloads directory right uh, so let's call our file move jpeg and extension would be dot sh there are other extensions that you can use okay so now we can open this file with whatever you want to open it with let's just list our files in here okay so we created it successfully let's go into this file now use nana or wim at your own risk and don't leave me any comments saying how do you get out of vim or or oh vim is so easy to use no i disagree now we want to find a directory that we want to work in. So we need to find a path to the downloads directory to put in our script. Let's just find it. Okay, so because we work in WSL, we need to find our downloads directory that is located on our Windows, right? So let's try this. Let's list what we have in our mount C drive, C drive users, and on downloads let's see do you have the snow no did they put the wrong username okay i can go into my downloads folder go to properties and here's my username okay now that we know the username we can change it in our path so we can look inside the downloads folder remember all my thumbnails we were looking at before uh, now we are ready to organize those files using the bash script. <laughs> Finally, how many minutes are we into this video? This video is about bash script, I promised. <laughs> um, are you still watching? <laughs> Don't forget to follow, leave me a comment. Um, follow along, okay? 
Okay, let me try to copy it so I don't have to type it again and make any mistakes. So now we need to go into our file. Now we use our shebang command. What it does is when you run your script, it ensures that it executes bash no matter what um, shell you are using. So remember, we went on this detour looking for the path to my downloads folder. Now we need to save it in the variable um, win user path, but you can name it whatever you want. Um, this is just the name of the variable and this is where our path goes. This is a string, so don't forget to put it in quotes. You cannot use dashes and it cannot start with a number. Um, so now that we have our path saved, we can use the move command to move files from the downloads directory to my pictures directory. We want to move all our pictures that have JPEG extension. I could have gone I could have gone with the shorter variable name because right now it's not any shorter than the actual path, but it is what it is. So this star here is actually have a fun name. It's called globe pattern. Um, here I googled what the globe pattern is and globe pattern also known as a globe 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 is a string used to match file paths based on wildcard character look there are several of them um, star matches any number of characters including zero question mark matches any single character we have brackets matching okay you read it on your own okay now we can type echo all pictures move to pictures you don't have to this is just um, a nice text that we can send to terminal um, that we get once everything is completed okay so now that this is done we can save it use control o i think that's it yeah control o to save it in nana but if you're using something else <laughs> figure it out yourself all of you who dare to use Wim you probably stuck and don't know <laughs> don't know how to get out of it just unplug your computer okay um, there is no other way <laughs> so remember we just created this move dash file now we need to execute this file and to execute this file the file needs to have executable permissions let's list the permissions that this file currently has okay look at this it only has read permissions now we can just change the mode use chi mode and add executable permission x for executable do 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 we are ready to execute it now just type mm -hmm. just type dot forward slash and the name of our file uh, here all pictures move to the pictures. I don't know if you noticed in my other window the JPEG files just just move <laughs> Look, they're not in my downloads folder anymore. They're gone So okay, that was fun. What else can we do?